These are indeed the days of the dog, days when Fido can count his human friends by the million, and his well-being and comfort have become as important, uh, put it there, as important as the, the wife's birthday. On the continent especially, Le Chien, if I may air my French, is having the time of his life, what with friction anti parasitaire hot baths, showers, and all the other amenities of a Bow Wow's beauty parlour. Into the warm box to dry off. Gosh, he must have a date. But not all dogs are so pampered. Some have to work for their living and like it. A selection from Buck. And now he's coming to the tail end. A fine example of canine sagacity and courage is the trained police dog. Add to those qualities a dash of chivalry and no defenceless maiden need ever be without a protector. Eyes for the cyclists. Specially trained dogs are reliable guides and good companions. In many countries today, the dog is still used for transport. And over the vast snow wastes go the huskies, intelligent, active, hard as nails. At the famous Alpine Hospice, the monks bred the noble animal that took its name from their mountain retreat, the St. Bernard. Near the Hospice, a statue immortalizes the gallant record of a St. Bernard who rescued 40 people in raging snowstorms and lost his life trying to save the 41st. Maybe it isn't so commonplace after all to repeat that the dog, bless him, is man's best friend.